Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a pivot table where your numbers in the values section can be different numbering formats. So what does that mean? Let's say for example I have a table here. So let me turn this into a pivot table. This is just a range of data. I'll go to insert, go to pivot table, and I'm just going to uh, take the defaults here where it selected my range and put it to a new worksheet. Click OK. And I'm going to put my uh, job row here. I'm going to put my attribute over here, uh, put my values over here, and uh, uh, I'll just leave the region and the period out. Actually, I'm going to put the period here. Let me put the period here, and maybe maybe I will put the region in, put the region uh, in here, All right? And let me go set, set this up as a uh, tabular format, show in tabular form, and I'm going to get rid of the grand total. Let's click that right click and just remove grand total. I'm going to remove the, the totals here to select on that. Right click and remove the subtotal for the region. Now what we notice here uh, is my conversion rate. It looks like it's uh, very strange. Um, it, it shows a, an integer uh, or decimal and the revenue is also the same. Let's say for example I want to show my conversion rate which is, uh, let me go ahead and make this uh, not sums but let me make this averages to make it look a little bit better. Uh, click OK. So my conversion rate for Business Operation Manager for the East is 0 .5, 0 0.57, uh, etc. So let's go and check that. East Business Operations Manager. Let me just select that for January. All right? And that should be 0 0.91 for the Business Operations Manager East. Right? So we go January Business Operations Manager uh, East. It should be 0.91 and revenue is 114660, right? 114660. Now, I set this for, I want to show this as a percentage. So, what I can do is I can click here, right click, and go under value few settings. And under the norm, the number format, let me see if I can select it for percentage, right? And I'll have two decimal places. Click OK, click OK. And what you notice now, it's set the percentage format for both of the numbers in the value section. I can't set one or the other. I want it actually to look like this. So this is what I ideally want it to look like. Uh, in my uh, area where I have a conversion rate, I want to have this set as percentage, but in the revenue column here, the values here, that's going to be a dollar amount. So how do I do that? Well, actually there's a way that we can do it and we have to set a custom number format. So let me go back into Excel. So here we are back in Excel and what we want to do is we want to set a custom nor number format. So what we want to do is have anything that is less than one. We're assuming that that is a percentage. So uh, from 0 to 0.99 that's going to be a percentage. Anything over one is going to be a dollar amount. right? So what we need to do is we need to set a different custom number format. So I'm going to go ahead and right click anywhere in here, any, any of the, the value cell because I'm in the values area. Go ahead and right click and go under value few settings, go back to my number format, and I'm going to create a custom number format. I'm going to create something new. Uh, you see, we have uh, various ones here, but I'm going to create something new here. So what I'm going to do, let me go ahead and delete that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, I'm going to put open square bracket if it is greater than greater or equal to 1, and then close the square bracket. I'm going to put currency here, so I'm going to have a placeholder for currency. So it's going to be dollar sign, uh, pound, comma, pound, pound, zero right so it's going to go to the thousands I'm going to close that with uh, or, or separate that with a semicolon so that's going to be the first condition so basically this is saying if the value uh, in, in these value section is greater than or equal to one put a dollar sign with placeholders for currency so you can see that the example shows up here right now the other thing I want to add now the second condition is um, the percentage so I'm going to go a square bracket if it is less than one close per square bracket then I'm gonna have percentage so it's gonna be zero dot zero and then percentage All right I'm going to click OK click OK and now we have our uh, differences now we have our different numbering formats for our value section we have the conversion rate which of course if I look at our sheet here these are all uh, less than one right and uh, these values are greater than one or greater than or equal to one and so it kind of fits 
our value section here kind of nicely. So anything that is less than 1 gets converted into a percentage. Anything greater than or equal to 1 gets converted into a dollar amount. So this is a way that we can have uh, multiple numbering formats in the same values area for our pivot table. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. <music>